Morning, day 179. Uh, uh, just got packed up and it's starting to sprinkle. So got my pack there with my rain cover on it and uh, tent camped. Uh, dry spot right there. Just got everything packed up. My buddies are up the hill. We were kind of scattered last night when we came into the camp. Yeah, their sights all here and there. You just had to find some a place and throw your stuff up. So, but yeah, we got uh, about five miles to the trailhead, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, see you in a bit. All right, so we're just making our way to the road still, about two miles, and uh, looks like we're going to go into North Conway. We uh, there's like four of us hiking together. And I broke a trekking pole yesterday. I tried to fix it, uh, but it did not hold the repair. So there's an REI, we were told, in North Conway. And one of the folks in my party wants to get a new water filter. So, and I'm gonna need a new pair of trekking poles. So uh, we're gonna go check that out and then probably get some uh, food and there's rain coming in, forecast in the next couple hours. It's going to be pretty good. I think it's like 60%, so we're probably going to get a hotel for the night. Go buy our stuff and get something to eat and do some laundry. And uh, head out tomorrow is the game plan. So, uh, yeah, right now we're just walking toward the road. Well, got about another mile on trail. And we'll hit, uh, I think it's 302, well, 302, and uh, probably have to call somebody to get a shuttle into North Conway, which I think is about 20 miles away, so it's not close, but uh, the town has a lot of stuff, so anyway, so that's the game plan right now. It's kind of overcast, drizzly, wet, and muddy, and uh, yeah, that's... Uh, that's probably going to be it today, so I'll keep you posted. All right, thanks for tuning in. Good morning, day 181. We just left uh, North Conway. We did a Nero Zero. I had to buy some new trekking poles, and uh, I'll review those later this week. But we are climbing, big climb first thing this morning, and uh, there's three of us, was well, four of us, but one of our buddies has some medical issues. So he's gonna stay behind and get those checked out. But we are, sorry for the heavy breathing, but we are climbing, big climb, like I said. And then we got about 11 miles from the road to, we're gonna try to get to Lake of the Clouds hut and stay the night uh, before attempting to uh, summit Mount Washington tomorrow. And there's some big thunderstorms coming in today, starting around one o'clock. So we're gonna keep an eye on that. And uh, yeah, just monitor the weather and hope to get to the hut by three or four so because the big storms are supposed to roll in around six so like and it's a very open and exposed area here shortly right now we're in the woods but later on and i'll show it to you once we cross across it go across it rather uh but uh, all right, I'll see you down trail. All right, it's uh, about a quarter to 11 this morning. We're moving along, we're up on top of, uh, let's see, Mount Webster, headed toward Mount Jackson Peak, 
And then once we cross over Mount Jackson and a little bit of a down to the Mitzvah hut, where we plan to stop and do a little lunch break and check the weather before trying to get over to the Lake of the Clouds hut, which would be another 4.7 miles. But yeah, we're up here in the Alpine, just walking along the ridge line. It's quite actually muddy, boggy, if you will, for surprising being up so high. But you have a, there's a permafrost layer up here uh, that thaws in the summer. So it stays pretty wet, plus, plus thunderstorms and to the moisture. So. It's quite beautiful. Uh, shade is a gorgeous day. Uh, we should hopefully get a few more views, especially from Mount Jackson. And uh, yeah, maybe the Mitzvah hut as well. Uh, there's a water source. So that's good. I don't need water right now, but if I did, that's a good source right there. I mean, obviously, we would filter it filter our water uh, but moving on so sweet homes in front of me and be safe is behind me and our other buddy JJ is the one who decided to hang back and uh, in a medical issue he wanted to get checked out uh, hopefully that's okay and uh, wait to hear back from him so Anyway, yeah, so that's the latest, and, uh, yep, yeah, uh, so moving on, we'll see you down the trail. All right, got a shot of Mount Washington, which we'll be crossing tomorrow, we think. See all the weather equipment up there. Oh, probably a few cell towers, too, I'm sure. And a nice 360 and then there's Brenton Woods Resort uh, oops right there famous old resort Brenton Woods Brenton Woods I guess and it's a little cloudy they are calling for storms so be at the mitzvah hut here in the next mile 1.7 so and there's a sweet home there get some shots so we're at miss pa spring hut right now and actually we have some tent sites uh right over there uh, you probably see the uh, caretaker's white tent site is right there, and then ours are back in that area. Uh, so we're, this is where we're staying tonight. We only get about eight miles for the day. And uh, yeah, because there's a storm moving in, and we didn't want a chance at <clears throat> headed over to Mount Washington. So... Let me get a view here for you. But yeah, we just went inside the uh, hut, had some coffee, and I'll head back out to our tents. Well, your tent pad sites actually. And uh, there's, uh, it's called the Nauman tent site. So tomorrow we'll get up and try and make it across Mount Washington. That'll be a big day. It's about 15 miles, I think. But, uh, yeah, so uh, this hut was built in 1964. It sits at 3,800 feet. Uh, it's pretty nice inside. 
And uh, yeah, so that's it for day 181. And uh, let's try to see if there's any views up there. Uh, it's a ridge line up above us. So, yeah, that's it for today. And we'll see you all tomorrow. Thanks for tuning in.